it's not a bad day for a walk today. Not as hot as it has been, so um, yeah, I walk down here. Need the exercise, I haven't, had, haven't been out for two days, driving me crazy, cabin fever. That's driving me crazy, so is the, um, the fawning uh, media with Joe Biden. Oh God, it'd make you sick. Of course, they're always putting the, the digging at the uh, at Trump or Melania. I mean, do they are low lives? They just they just can't help themselves. They're just full of hate. And, and now the actual latest um, survey into people's perception of the media has shown that it's dropped to an all-time low. Less than 50 percent of the public believe what they see in the media now. It's about 46 percent which I think is way too high anyway and not surprisingly the uh, the people who trust the media amongst uh, Republicans is only about 17 percent and uh, it's over 50 just slightly over 50 percent for uh, Democrats but only slightly over not not exactly a rousing endorsement of the, uh, the media even from the woke uh, Democrat supporters so uh, it's interesting, you know, Biden has the charisma of a, uh, a speed bump. He really does. He's, he's absolutely pathetic. Uh, I think he's corrupt, incompetent and a hack. He's been in politics for so damn long. He's, uh, he's a joke. Um, but of course, like the media, uh, they're, they're showing all these headlines from other newspapers throughout the world who are, who are basically praising him. But that doesn't surprise me because, uh, you know, most of the media is absolutely useless. They're, they're, they're disgusting. They just, uh, I have no regard for them at all. They, they don't even put the pretense on now of actually reporting facts. They, we know that they've got agendas and they're pretty open with them now. The bias is just absurd. And uh, it really is turning into more like the Soviet Union than uh, what we used to be in the United States. It's a real danger. Freedoms are really being challenged in the US right now. And uh, people just can't sit back and, and just let it happen. I think the Republicans might be pretty well a spent force. Uh, mainly because uh, there is talk that, uh, that Trump will start up a Patriot Party. Now the trouble is it's very difficult to get a third party organized so quickly. Um, as this, I got looked at an article and there was a lot of problems with it, although maybe the people writing the article wanted to make it look harder than it actually was. Again, I don't trust anything I read in the press, but uh, there does seem to be some hurdles. But even on Newsmax, they were saying that they thought it was a difficult task and translating uh, Trump's support into votes could be difficult, but I don't agree with that. I think Trump is fairly unique. He has a groundswell of support. If it becomes a three-way contest between Republicans, Democrats and the new Patriot Party, they could sweep quite a few seats because the, uh, the other two will be fighting out. Uh, and the third party, Trump, has got a very loyal, loyal base. And if they come out and support as as uh, as much as they do in the past i think he'd pick up a lot of seats in the three corner contest it'd work in his favor uh so i think there's a lot of crap being talked about it getting good candidates is, is going to be take a bit of work that's for sure and that, that is difficult but uh if a patriot party cannot be formed an effective third force then i still think the secession needs to be looked at if nothing else, it'd scare the crap out of the Democrats thinking that America's going to basically uh, disintegrate. Uh, it won't be the United States anymore. So I think it's an important thing. It's, it's like playing poker. So, uh, yeah, maybe they should get uh, old Dale Phillip, who's a blogger, a Scottish blogger. He's a, bit, he's a bit of a character. I quite like his work. Uh, he used to make his living for being a professional uh, poker player making a very good living on my edge now i think he's making something like five or seven grand a, a month you know really decent money no, actually it's more than that it was much more than that sorry i think it's 
Uh, I'm understating it totally. I think it might have been more like 30 grand or something. Cra crazy amount of money. He was uh, he was in one of the favoured guys, but he he fell out of favour with the, the rulers, ruling people of the poker set up the poker matches, and uh, now there's more competition as well. So not as lucrative as it was, but still you can make a decent living doing it. He used to be in uh, IT. A lot of people online have a previous life in information technology. It's not unusual. Dave Cullen's one of the most prominent ones. He's uh, very articulate and uh, he'll be certainly not a, not a Biden supporter. That's for sure. Yeah, free entertainment. <laughs> if you call it that. Yes, that's a bit of the local colour in Cairns, some characters. Ah oh dear. Like I say, it's quite a nice day for a walk. But uh, yeah, the Biden, there's a picture of Biden in the, in the Oval Office wearing a black mask. He looks like a bandit. And in my, in my opinion, he stole the election. So it's perfect, perfect garb for him, in my opinion. Uh, suits him down to the ground. He also looked confused, but I think he always looks confused. There's also that family shot with his uh, all the women in the Biden family. And funnily enough, he actually restrained himself enough not to actually sniff their hair while the photo's being taken. So, uh, creepy Joe uh, showed some restraint. But he's not going to show any restraint when it comes to legislation and attacked and basically tearing down a lot of the good things that the uh, that Trump did. He's already put a stop to building the wall down south. And uh, he's going to basically probably get rid of tax cuts and there's a whole lot of swag oh that's the one that you did really it gives an indication where we're going he actually uh, he put outlawed fracking and fracking is one of the things that's made the USA independent of oil with oil supply so Biden's gonna make America beholden to the Middle East once more and God knows what he's going to do with this international diplomacy. That'll be an absolute joke as well. He'll probably give the Iranians a nuclear technology. It's going to be an absolute schmozzle. It's really going to be bad. Uh, very pessimistic. I don't... It, this is, he's be one of the least qualified people to actually be president, in my opinion. He's also appointing his uh, advisors by their ethnicity, not their ability. And that is just ridiculous. I mean, it's like, you know, getting an airline pilot, flying your plane, and they got the job because they're in a certain ethnic group rather than they know how to actually fly. Or a surgeon carrying out a vital operation, the same thing. It's insanity. Signs that uh, civilization is coming to an end. It's getting frayed at the edges. And this lunacy just continues on. And the uh, excellent film, sat satirical film, Idiocracy, is now looking more like a prophecy than just an entertaining piece of fluff. So uh, you should check it out if you can find it. I've got a copy of it myself, Idiocracy. It's, uh, yes, it's uh, the dumbing down of society. Really well done. And... Uh, and when, with Biden, what you're going to base, what, what's actually now happened is there's been a corporate coup in America. The electoral system doesn't mean anything anymore. Uh, it was been totally circumvented by big, big tech and corporate sleazes like Biden, uh, like uh, Bezos. What a low life he is. Uh, you know, it's really sad. Then you got you got the uh, living fossil. Pelosi in, in the House of Reps. Mind you, the Republicans aren't much better. You've got Mitch O'Connell, he's, he's a useless waste of space, as is Mitt Romney. These people I wouldn't piss on, to be quite frank. Just horrible. Horrible hacks who have been in uh, politics way too long. Uh, Bill Whittle, who I've taken a few, had a few issues with of recent times, he actually said that uh, yeah, all politicians should be limited to one term. 
so there's a forced turnover of people and they can't get so embedded in the swamp because there's no doubt all many of these politicians are on the take and uh, when you've got big tech and you've got people like Bezos who've got very deep pockets they can afford to buy elections they can afford to buy policy basically in effect they're, they're de facto they are the government and what we see on the screen is just window dressing the real real position the real decisions are being made behind closed doors so that's a very very sad situation and uh four years boy biden can do a lot of damage i'll say biden harris because no one thinks biden will last the distance so but harris won't be any improvement she may even be worse just just terrible it's a nightmare and uh i don't know if i've got much confidence in succession actually taking place but i think it'd be a great idea and uh or the third party or both if they can pull those things off they can put some real pressure on the democrats who i think are going to be on the nose big time when the midterm elections take place in two years uh, it could be actual carnage for them the way things are turning out we'll see we'll see all speculation yeah, as i say nice day not too hot that's the thing uh, all that rain has taken the edge off it but it'll, it'll heat up again no doubt we've still got about a third of summer to go so hopefully you survive it all please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if they think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever and uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or or if you're feeling really energetic do both that'd be great